Hello and welcome all. Today we are tackling the service lane problem on HackerRank. This is an easy difficulty problem and I'll be doing it in JavaScript. As usual, I'll go over the problem, give you some time to do it on your own, and then go over my solution. Here we go. A driver is driving on the freeway. The check engine light of his vehicle is on and the driver wants to get service immediately. Luckily, a service lane runs parallel to the highway and it varies in width along its length. You will be given an array of widths at points along the road, which will be given as indices, then a, also a list of indices of entry and exit points. Considering each entry and exit point pair, calculate the maximum size vehicle that can travel that segment of the service lane safely. And I will give an example of this. So for just a moment, we're just going to focus on this area right here. And we're going to be focusing on these service lanes, which have different widths. So the first width here is one, then two. I guess the car should technically be the other way. And the first indices is index zero. That's why I did that. And so the first service lane is with one. The second one is two, two, three, then one and two. You'll be given an entry and exit index. And so in this example for zero and three, we look at the zero and we see the width of one, two, two, and then also three. The largest car that could fit in there is actually of size one. So essentially it's asking for the min. The answer for this would be one. If we look at the case from four to five, then that's this indices here. That's a one and a two. The answer would also be just a one. Now I do have one more thing I want to go over. I'm doing this in JavaScript and for some reason it's not implemented correctly. They are telling you that you're going to be given this function with N and cases, but you are supposed to be supplied with the widths as well. So I'm not sure why they don't provide that. This is being parsed out here. And so here's a correction. If you're doing this on your own, I'll also make a ticket for them to correct it. but in the meantime, make sure that this width variable is actually getting passed in when your function is being run. So for the n, I'm going to post in paste in the width. And so also in the function here, I'm going to make sure to paste that as well. And just to give you a sense of what's happening, let's console log and the function needs to return a list. I'll make it a return an empty list so we can actually like run it without a problem. Here we see n is eight width is a, a list of widths as expected. And the cases are a list of lists, but each of those mini lists is too long uh, as an enter and exit point. So that is how that's going to work. That's sometimes how it goes with hacker rank. I'll give you some time to do it on your own and come back with my solution. Good luck. All right, so I'm just going to code this out while I go since it's not too bad. We're going to be returning a list. So let's set that up. So let's just run that just to make sure it's not completely broken here. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to go through each case and going to grab the start and end. And then I'll take those as indices to loop through the width array and just kind of grab whatever the min value between those indices are. So I'm going to first create a for loop. Well, I can make it case of cases, although it's not going to like that because the word case is a reserved keyword in JavaScript. But we can also just deconstruct it because we know that the list of each case is only too long and it has a start and an end. So we can just like deconstruct that in this for loop right here. So let's just again console log to make sure that we're not completely messing everything up. Start and end, uh, just to see what that looks like. All right. And here, there we go. We see we have the start and ends. So that's showing up properly. I'm going to then use that in another for loop. And we're going to use those as indices essentially. So I'm going to say, let i equal, we're going to start with the start. We're going to let it keep going. We actually want to include the end because if it goes from zero to three, it actually includes, it's inclusive. So I want this not to just be, you know, less than the end, but also equal to just because I want to capture that end as well. Uh, and then we'll do i plus plus because we're iterating and we're going to be looping through each width. So let's grab the width from width. So I'll say w equals with and we'll grab the i. Now, if I want to actually compare, because I need to I need to store the value for the min outside of the loop. So let's do that here. Let's say let the min equals, and we want it to initialize as something not small because we want to find the min. So I want something that's arbitrarily large. So we're going to start with infinity, which is a concept in JavaScript. You could just set it any number is less than infinity. Min equals map dot min. We're going to take whatever it currently is and whatever the new value here is the w and we're going to try and set it to the, the min so either the min wins or the new width is the min and we just set it to that console log see what min is at the end of that 
Um, that should be essentially our output because we're going to add that to the output list. Uh, w is not defined because I need to set it as a const. Okay, very good. All right, so we have the expected output here, one, two, three, two, one. And our debugging output is one, two, three, two, one. So that is looking good. So I'm going to be, I think, pretty confident in saying for the output, we're going to push our min and return the min. I think that's pretty much it. And it looks like it passed the test cases. Let's submit some code. Hey, there we go. Not bad at all. Okay, so let's go over the time complexity for this thing. All right, so we're going to go through each case. So this is big O of, I'm going to call it C. So C equals the number of cases. And then within that for loop, we're also looping through big O of, let's say, N, because N, literally in this case, I'm talking about like this N, which is the number of widths. So we have a total time complexity here of big O of C times big O of N. It's times because it's a nested operation. And that equals big O of big O of C times N. And that would be the time complexity. So that is basically it. Um, there is one caveat I'm going to say for this is it's that this is not as efficient as it probably could be. There's something called a segmentation tree where you're you're basically efficiently querying over a range, which is what we're essentially doing here. The start and end is what we're querying. So we could be a bit more efficient by using that. It would be an n log n operation for that. It's unnecessarily complicated for this because we pass all the tests, so we don't need to do all that. But if you're looking for more efficiency, that is technically one thing you could do if you need it to. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoy. If you like this kind of content, make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good things, and I'll see you next time. Take care.